If you're heading home on your lunch break and maybe an isolated storm for the evening. By the way, this is Merlin. Can we just talk about his cute little underbite that he has? I mean, so scruffy and adorable. <laughs> Has character. That is the perfect word for it. Colby has a little underbite too when he tries to smile. He has little crooked teeth. It's super cute. All right, everybody. Good morning. Let's talk about what's going on out there. Well, it looks like Dublin is still sleeping. Either way, you're looking live on top of the Fred Roberts. Very different looking picture out there. Still feels very muggy. We're all in the low 70s and that humidity is high. However, we are not as rainy. Clearly a very different start to the day when it comes to rainfall. Just a couple of light showers. It looks like in Washington County this morning and that's going to about do it. Most of the rain is out towards the coast. As we go through the day today, we will be drier as a whole. So starting the day drier is pretty much setting the stage for the forecast today. Thankfully, we did get a lot of rain over the past couple of days, so we deserve to quiet down a little bit. While we won't be mainly dry, we'll have the chance for a few scattered just afternoon showers and thunderstorms. What's currently happening is high pressure is starting to filter in and what it's doing is offering us a little more protection. Notice all the shower and storm activity that's going to fire up around us. That's going to fire up around the periphery of that area of high pressure. So if you see breeze thunderstorms will be possible today as well. It's all going to mainly be with the heat of the day. Good news is though as we lose that heat of the day, we'll start to quiet down. So for all the Friday night football games, the forecast looks pretty good for it. Maybe an isolated storm for tailgate time. We do have tailgate 13 tonight in the five o'clock hour, so be sure you're tuning in for that. Rain will be clearing for kickoff for the games. It's still going to be warm. It's still going to be muggy. We'll be in the low 70s by the time everything comes to a close tonight. As we head into the weekend, a few storms Saturday, we're pretty much going to copy and paste the forecast today into tomorrow, but rain chances will rebound pretty quickly on Sunday. Rain and storms will be likely for the day. That'll keep temperatures near 80. Now let's talk about when we could get a taste of fall, shall we? So we're going to start next week quite rainy. So be sure as you get ready to kick off next week and you're planning for the week that you have that umbrella with you. A cold front along a pretty strong weather system that's going to push through the Midwest into the Northeast will give us a trailing cold front. And maybe by next Thursday, which is the second official day of fall, We'll have a taste of fall. Your seven day looks like this low 80s with scattered storms today and tomorrow. Rain will be pretty likely Sunday through Wednesday. All ahead of that cold front and along it will be a little cooler by next Thursday.